They didn't book the bloody taxi, did they? I phoned them. Sorry, it's not your fault. The number of times I phoned these people that to confirm that they had booked the bloody taxi and that it was a high roof. He would not believe. I am sick to death of these incompetent prats. Sorry, my problem isn't with you. I know, it's all right. I believe you, me, my thick buskins got thick since I started working here. Well, I am so sick of the bastards. I'm going to sue them again for this. Could I get a contact number for you? I don't do phone calls. All right. I'm certainly not from people I don't know and from, certainly not from call centres. Uh -huh. I've got profound, reasonably profound hearing loss. I'm on text relay with them now. All right. And they didn't put the bloody taxi, did they? How many times did I ask them to confirm? I've got recordings of all the calls. Like last night I phoned. Please can you check that it's a high roof taxi? Oh yes, we'll email you to confirm. They never bloody did. I booked it weeks ago, and now I'm sat here in the bloody wind. Well, um, that was going to be my next suggestion. I've only got supposed to have two hours there. I've got a catch of two thirty back. What? Why do they do this? Why? Why do they employ such incompetent prats at Journey Call who always stuff it up? I'm so upset about it. I've had this journey, this trip planned for so long. I was yeah. so looking forward to it. And they stuff it up by their terminal incompetence. I mean, to start off with, they just put me wheelchair assistance direct to King Boosie. And I was like, check it out. There's no way off the platform in a wheelchair. What are you doing? They didn't even notice. I know, I know. <laughs> Where was he? You came up from it, it, like well, originally. We started off in Weatherby yesterday. Yeah. Went down and did the sleeper to get up to Inverness, yeah. and now we're down here, and they bloody failed it. I mean, instead, of, if you were wanting to, instead of staying here in the Zikan, it's a a bit of a long-winded way to go, but if you head out here and go right down and then under the tunnel, I'll bring you out to that side, and then at least you'll get into the waiting room. What are they doing about it? Well, I was to get a contact number, and they're in the process of trying to get a thing, but I'll phone them back and I'll just say that you can't use do your... Phone call. Yeah, you don't can't use your phone as a phone call. Um, and they know that it's on my bloody passenger assist profile saying that I can't really cope with incoming phone calls. Yeah. So are you want to make your way across? No. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to be in this bloody situation. Well, I, I know. But... <laughs> Why can they not bloody do their bloody job I can't answer that I know I'm sorry I know but I just I hate that standing you know like in silence <coughs> <coughs> it drives me crazy so looking forward to this. I knew they'd stuff it up. I'll go across there and I'll explain <laughs> the situation to them and I'll see what, um, you know, to keep contacting us and we'll find you wherever you are. Okay?